All right, Netherlands 3, USA 1. From Memphis to Dumfries in 60 minutes. <laughs> Michael, you, you were at this game. I was, yes. It was... Um... I actually really enjoyed it technically. Yeah. I think um, it's a funny, I mean, of all the stadiums here, the Califa is not great. It's it's an athletic stadium with a, you know, a big space between the pitch and the fans, which I think you can tell on TV. And I must say the atmosphere was, was quite disappointing. But as a game, I thought it was really interesting. Two sides with completely different approaches, um, some really good goals, lots of incident, a couple of missed chances. Uh, I thought both games today actually were fantastic. I mean, if the rest of the tournament continues in in that kind of style, I think we'll be in for a real treat in the knockout stages. Have the Netherlands now turned up? I think so. I always got the impression that they were going to be a little bit better against teams who came onto them a bit. I mean, they're playing a very similar way to how they did under Van Hal in 2014, which is completely the opposite really of what you associate with Van Van Hal football it's it's reactive it's counter-attacking it's depending on a couple of individuals with pace to do the damage on the break um I mean they scored that wonderful opener which was I suppose a more a typical Van Hal goal when you look at the, the style of football he likes throughout his career but in general I do think they basically want to play on the break and against the US they were playing against a team who I think do want to dominate not necessarily in possession but certainly in terms of their pressing and when the Dutch broke past that first press, they were really dangerous. I mean, it's only the second game this tournament that Depay has played alongside Gakpo up front, but they had so much speed. And and actually, I thought Van Hal did quite well to make a, a clever change at halftime because he brought on um, Bergwijn, who was essentially a third attacker. I mean, if you're 2-0 up and you bring on an extra attacker, it says something about your intent. And that intent was to offer more on the break. Um yeah, I, I think they were the better side um, technically, tactically, and more than anything else, just in terms of finishing. I mean, if, if Pulisic puts that chance away five minutes in or whatever it was, then we've probably got a different game. Absolutely. There was a, seemed to be a, a big divide of opinion among uh, US supporters, whether the US MNT had been taught a lesson and had been naive, essentially, or whether it was just came down to lack of a proper finisher. Yeah, there is that. They, they made some really... Really daft mistakes for some of the goals. I mean, that that first goal, I've seen some people say that it was it was it was poor defending from the US to kind of allow them to sweep through. But mm. it, was, it was pretty much perfection, really, from start to finish. Um, the Dutch have never scored a goal with as many passing sequences in in the World Cup ever. And when you think of some of the some of the teams that they've um, they've had over the years, that's pretty impressive. So twenty passes, and you mm. mentioned defensive lapses. One one of them would be uh, Tyler Adams, who. Gets a bit, I think, mesmerised by the Netherlands passing, and and meanwhile Memphis Depay kind of steals behind him and finds a, a an ocean of space, much like the one Michael's currently sitting in, uh, in which to <laughs> to score the first goal. Michael, it was a special goal, surely. I thought it was brilliant. Actually, it is the most kind of enthused I've been about anything. I was just delighted to witness it. It was brilliant, and I know there's, you know, you can find some examples of passing moves that lasted longer in terms of actual number of passes there was that famous Argentina goal against Serbia Montenegro in 2006 which I think was 35 passes or something like that but a lot of goals like that the first 20 25 passes are kind of irrelevant and under no pressure whereas I thought almost every pass in this move had a real purpose whether it was playing out from the press or breaking through the press or of course playing the final pass at the end of it 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 was just brilliant and it was I think quite out of keeping with much of what the Netherlands have done in this tournament, I wasn't really expecting that from them. Um, but yeah, fantastic teamwork. And I think the US, they did make mistakes, not just in that goal, but in the whole game. I mean, some of the defending, you can probably say about every goal, I think particularly the third goal, the defending was really poor. But I just thought it was a really good game. I thought it was a game where, you know, the US turned up and, and wanted to dominate and wanted to play and wanted to force the issue. Um, and I think that is... That is the right way to play for them long term. It's a it's a very young squad. I think the second youngest in the in the tournament after Ghana. And obviously they're working towards the World Cup in three and a half years' time. Um they need extra players. They certainly need a number nine. I think that's the big weakness. But overall I've I've been really impressed with the way that they played in this tournament in in pretty much all four games. Watching this, watching the Dutch opening up the US side. Did it make you wonder a little bit more about why England so struggled to break them down? Are the Netherlands just that much better aside? 
think so necessarily. I think the US just produced a better performance in that game for me. They didn't, okay. didn't quite turn up today. It was interesting to see um, Marco van Basten quoted today. I don't know if you've seen He said, uh, two great goals. The rest is something to cry about. Um, as a football lover, I ask myself, what am I looking at? Zero initiative. Which is, uh, I'd be interested to, you know, to kind of see and hear what the rest of the, the Dutch media and and fans think of the football they're playing. I mean, it's it's pretty effective. And I personally, I'd have them as slight favourites to to go through against Argentina. Um, I also think it's worth mentioning the Dutch keeper Nopper, who's one of the stories of the tournament. You know, obviously coming in for his debut, and but he was very he was he was crucial today because he made that really good save from Christian Pulisic early on. Mm. And then there was another one in the second half where uh, there was a through ball to Hadji Wright, and he's he's. It, it looks like he's through on goal. You can't even see the keeper coming off his line on the screen, and then literally he's he's there within half a second to claim at his feet. Really, really important save. I think there might have been two one at that point. Um, so yeah, great story. Um, if people don't know, you know he's he's out in here playing for here in Veen and uh, hadn't won a cap before the before the first game of the tournament, and he's been one of the best keepers so far. Mm. Had you right, as you say, it had got to two one. Had you right scoring that that goal with a training ground move, the finish in particular. Yeah, well, it it looks it looks like he's trying to flick it in with the inside of his Is of he his not, heel. I thought it just um, bounced off him. He's facing away from goal. This is what I understood. He's facing away from goal. The ball comes into him, and it just bounces off his foot and over Noppert's head. I thought that's what he was trying to do, but he got it all wrong. Oh, because his 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 foot's at the wrong trajectory. Right. Um, but I think that's why that's why. It, it is aimed goalwards because that's what he was trying to do. I just thought he got it all wrong, and that's well, he why he was trying league. to do I, that. I, I mean, it's, it's it's a shame that um, it's a shame that it wasn't the winning goal because he'd have to lie about his intentions for the rest of his life. Whereas, right. Whereas now he's probably going to get forgotten about. It. But it was it was an extremely unusual finish. I don't think I've seen one like that before. Hello there. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to this channel? And if you'd like more Totally Football Show content, then just search for us on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Not an Athletic subscriber yet? Then just head to theathletic.com slash totally to find out our latest entry offer.